Shalom, shalom, shalom. Matthew 5, 16 reads, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 6, 1 reads, Giving to the needy, subtitle, Be careful not to practice your righteousness, in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. Now, what's the relationship between Matthew 5 verse 16 that says, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. And then we come in the next chapter of Matthew 6, 1. Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. This is where we need the help of the Holy Spirit. Those who don't have the Holy Spirit will say, Oh, the Bible is confusing. The Bible may be confusing because the hand of the Gentile, wicked ones, have translated it from Hebrew to English. But the scriptures, the sure script, is not confusing. We just need the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into all truth. The common word between these two verses is orders 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 let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds there are some others that you see your good deeds you cannot be covering your good deeds and also you cannot be pretending to be good if your inner house home in that secret place, you are not good. You must be good inside and outside. So, there are some others that will see your light as you are shining. You are just a light of God shining. Because that's who you are. The others that will see your light shining are the others like you, children of the Most High. So they will glorify your Father in heaven, who should also be their own Heavenly Father if they are not pretending in fellowship. But there are some others here that you now need to know who they are so that you don't practice your righteousness in front of them. These are the unbelievers. These are people that uh, are just there. They don't serve your God. They just want to get the good of this earth and do it anyhow and um, hold it to claim they are rich. Those that are not of God are the ones you have to be careful. When you go out there, city center, in your community, evangelizing, preaching the good news of salvation as the believers and disciples we are in the Lord. Be careful as you want to give that poor and needy, you don't need to do it like the Pharisee. And that shouldn't stop you from blessing the poor and needy in the name of, oh, I don't want people to see me. We need the balance of the scriptures to be in our mind as we yield to the Holy Spirit. So, be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others, to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. And then we come to the good others, the ones in our fellowship, the ones who proclaim our Lord Yeshua, Christ Yeshua as their own Savior too. When we are in fellowship in the same way, God is saying, let your light shine before them. Before them, let it don't hinder. 
That's a shame before them. Let them see the good days. These are the orders of the children of God who even know that's what they should do as they see your good works is to glorify God. But if you go and do it before the orders of the world, they will just be praising you, hyping you. They will not give the glory to the Heavenly Father because they don't know that is what they should be doing. So let us understand the scriptures. Separating one others that are believers from others that are unbeliever is very important. God bless you for listening. Shalom. My dear father, you're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made my life so beautiful. My dear father, you're taking away the shame. You're taking away the pain. You made me just like you.